Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome to my channel. In this video, the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, with the help of some of their friends, are going to help you connect with a message from your inner mermaid. I know some of you may be thinking, but there are no such things as mermaids. Yes, darling. And we are multidimensional beings and everything that exists, exists within us. And in this video, child, you're going to pick a butterfly color that resonates with your spirit. And the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, with the help of some other oracle decks that I have, are going to give you a message. In addition to some of my um, star alien beings, they're going to add an additional message from the universe to you. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, the Jungle Beauty Goddesses are fabric sculptures here, ladies, that I created myself. I sewed these dolls myself, and as I was making them, they had a voice. They were very talkative, which led to the Jungle Beauty Goddess book series. We have book, you know, one, two, and three so far is actually an ongoing series. And the books led to the Jungle Beauty Goddess Oracle deck that I created. So the cards are very magical, just like the dolls. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darlings. To better align your mind, body, and soul with the butterfly color that most resonates with the message you need to hear, Please take a moment to participate in a brief meditation by placing the tip of your tongue at the top of your mouth directly behind your teeth. Take in a deep breath to the count of nine, hold it to the count of nine, and release it to the count of nine. Do this three times. Wait a moment to allow your mind to settle into your spirit and your spirit to settle into your body. You will feel a shift in your energy when this happens. Use your intuition to select the butterfly color or colors that resonate with your beingness or listen to each message to tap into the collective mind. Thank you so much for watching. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Your thoughts create your reality, so please keep this in mind when selecting a pick a card message to help you define your unconscious core beliefs that may be unknown at this time. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help you find your way. The links for the butterfly colors are located in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Hello, darling. If you selected the hot pink butterfly, this reading is for you with the message from your inner mermaid. Oh, I'm so excited. So the first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chavi. And her message for you is, let's see, protect yourself. So Chavi represents our third chakra and our power center, our ability to believe in ourselves, our courage, our self-esteem. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you from your inner mermaid is you don't find love, you resonate love and it finds you. 
The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar, who represents our third eye, our ability to use our imagination, our wisdom, our inner sight. She said, bring your dreams to life. And then the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari from your inner mermaid. And her message is love is the only thing worth fighting for. So basically your inner mermaid is telling you that, well, first you need to protect yourself. But what I'm picking up is that sometimes we look, let me just say this. Sometimes we give too much of ourselves away to other people and then we become extremely angry when they don't treat us the way we think they should treat us. But the truth of the matter is we owe it to ourselves to always, we have to give ourselves what we need and not expect it from other people. So basically your, your inner mermaid is living in two worlds like well I don't want to say living in two worlds but basically your inner mermaid is saying okay look I live underwater but I'm trying to exist on the surface I'm trying to exist on land but if she's going to exist on land and let me just say this we're talking about the two worlds we're talking about this could be your relationship with your home life and your work life it could be your relationship with your you know maybe you're on a college campus and you're trying to fit in and this is any two worlds where you are really trying to fit in and you you're feeling vulnerable like maybe like sometimes when we are the new kid on the block and we're just trying to make friends and we want people to like us your inner mermaid is telling you to make sure that you don't um, overextend yourself even if you're on a new job don't be the person that everybody's pushing around she wants you to protect yourself and then you also have a card from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari that says love is the only thing worth fighting for. So basically what this card is saying to me from your inner mermaid in this scenario is that only fight for people who love you in return. If you don't feel a sense of reciprocity from your relationships, then maybe you need to pull back. And the next card I have from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari, who represents our heart chakra, our emotions, our compassion, our ability to love ourselves, to trust ourselves, forgive others, meaning to be empathetic. She says, you don't find love, you resonate love and it finds you. So what I'm picking up from this hand in general is that sometimes when we are trying to fit into somebody else's world, we tend to be give too much of ourselves away we're, we're very vulnerable we're, we're like oh I got it oh I'll do it oh um, and then we, we kind of know that the relationships are unbalanced but we kind of we're giving so much love to the degree that it's corroding us it's it's destroying us and I feel that your inner mermaid is saying look we need to protect ourselves and that means that if we have to remain underwater and connect with our own emotions and our own truth, that's what we're going to have to do because I don't want you to feel exploited. And in order for you to bring your dreams to life, you're going to have to Oh, how can I say this? Respect yourself. Not that you don't respect yourself. Put yourself first. That's what I'm looking for. Your inner mermaid want you to put yourself first. And you know, what's interesting about this hand to me is that if this, to me for some reason, this hand would be what Meghan Markle and has gone through with trying to live with, fix my microphone, I'm sorry, with um, Prince Harry. You know, she's got a, like, she's like the mermaid, right? She's moving into an environment where she's unfamiliar. She's trying to, you know, show that she loves him and that she fits in. But her, you know, basically, in order for her to bring her dreams to life, in order for her to thrive, she would have to leave. And it says love is the only thing worth fighting for. But that love means yourself as well. And if, if the people or circumstances are 
are not giving you the same degree of love, the same amount of love, the same amount of respect, then you need to pull back. You need to pull back into your own world. Um, I have a couple other cards for you. And one card I have from is uh, the Water Guardian. And I'm going to read a little bit from the book for you. And the Water Guardian says that I kept it on the page, so I don't want to. I don't want to screw up anybody else's, you know, cards. I don't believe in it. <clears throat> so the, the Water Guardian says, take time to understand how you really feel. Know that your sensitivity is not a curse, but a gift that allows you to receive and understand messages directly from your soul. So that's pulling in again with the Jungle Beauty Goddess energy of. <clears throat> connecting with your heart chakra it says water is the element that is in your blood your tears and your flesh the water guardian represents the angels of water who can help you dive within to understand the depth of your emotions these angels are all about helping you see that your emotions aren't just the feelings that are on the surface they are also the old emotions you may have locked deep within the shadows of your soul through helping you acknowledge your deepest emotions, the angels of water help you to hear the messages. These um, he help you hear the messages they have for you, and to unlock your intuitive powers and the energies of abundance. Your angels want you to know that it's okay to feel the emotions that are surfacing in you at this time, and it doesn't matter if they are joyous or sad. They are all powerful messages that allow you to understand what you want and what you need taking time to breathe and acknowledge them let them flow through you rather than crashing down on you as an overwhelming wave so basically it just ties all together you need to really assess your emotions and look around you in your environment and say you know is this an environment where i am thriving you know um yeah, I'm a, are you a mermaid out of water? Your inner mermaid is feeling sad. She feels that she wants to be protected. She wants to be in an environment where she feels that she is receiving the same amount of love that she is giving. And then I have another card for you. And this is from um, Lilac. I mean, that will actually from the flower, from our flower deck. And I'm just going to read to you what the card says because I really I'm a person you know I believe when people create cards because I create my own cards that they know what those messages are and I don't want to it's going to give you the highlights so um, Lilac's mystical energy reminds us that we dwell on the border between seen and unseen known and unknown from this place where the illusory veil of duality is thin all healing and wisdom is available to you and only await your recognition. If, like the woman on the car, you take a moment to relax and tune in to your body in the energy center located in the middle of your forehead, you did have the um, Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire card about your, your third eye. And this card is also telling you to direct yourself to your inner wisdom, um, known as your third eye. You will find that the answer that you seek is available to you now. You may very well have already heard your intuition, and this card is validation. Similarly, you may have been receiving omens and messages in the physical world. Take a moment to reflect on this now and see if you can glean the wisdom of the universe has been surely and steadily presenting to you. Furthermore, if you already have a feeling about what to do or what avenue to take, your feeling is valid and in alignment with divine orchestration. So basically, the, the main thing that this card wants you to know is that what you are hearing in, within your intuition is absolutely correct and that you should like if you, you know, maybe if you can find lilacs, you should sniff them or find an oil, a lilac oil. But basically the cards are saying, look, the feelings that you have right now about where you are, your inner mermaid is saying, look, I don't feel safe. I don't feel protected I don't feel loved I don't feel that the energy that's around me is actually helping me to thrive your inner mermaid is suffocating she's gasping for air and she wants you to listen to your intuition if this means finding a new job if it means you know looking assessing your relationships 
if it means you may need to move to a new apartment but your inner mermaid is saying we need to listen to our emotions to our heart and that the only thing that's worth fighting for is love not money not you know people not things but the love for ourselves now i have one more message for you from the leopard leopard um, i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing uh, star alien being from your inner mermaid is there an additional message that can help this person thrive thank you Sometimes people focus on doing what is right. What is right for other people, what is right for society, but you need to focus on what is right for you. And sometimes when we do what is right for us as an individual, as an individual soul, other people may disapprove of our decisions, but it doesn't mean that it is not the right thing to do. Assess your emotions, listen to your intuition, because this is what this is going to lead you to what is absolutely in your highest and best interest. Thank you. Oh my god, you have missed it. <laughs> that is the message I have from your inner mermaid. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling, if you selected the orange butterfly, this message is for you from your inner mermaid. First I'm going to go over the Jungle Beauty Goddess cards with you, brought along a couple friends today and then we're going to listen to the message from the star alien being and I have my magic flower deck and my angels and ancestor deck just to you know add a little spice, a little bit more depth. So the first card I have for you is from my Jungle Beauty Goddess deck. These are the cards that I created. And the card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess, a Katara who represents the earth element, the root chakra, which has to do with connecting with our ancestors, our community, our life mission. She said, your calling is what you answer to. First card, the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess, Sinai. Who represents our second chakra which is responsible for our emotions our ability to feel pleasure and joy um, love live as if the only time you will ever have is now so she is encouraging you to swim free in the water your inner mermaid is like look Dolly, let's let's enjoy life and do what we want to do child are we pulling in some strong cyanide, strong water energy? Isn't that interesting? That we're pulling in water energy from your inner mermaid. So the next card we have is from Jenna Beauty Goddess Cyanide. And her message to you is the past and the future does not exist. The present is all there is. She's asking you to live in the moment. And the next card I have for you from the Jenna Beauty Goddess deck is from Jenna Oh my god, you have three cards from Jenna Beauty Goddess Cyanide representing your second chakra which is responsible for your emotions and your pleasure and she says surprise yourself do something you have never done before so basically the message from the jungle beauty goddesses is that they well jungle beauty goddess sinai who is sitting right over here right here she is coming in extremely strong so jungle beauty goddess Sinai represents our second chakra and our ability to feel pleasure, to have fun, and to be creative. Whether we're creating life or creating um, a cookie or a human being or painting or drawing or sewing or any type of creativity. And your inner mermaid is saying, look, we are free as a bird. I am enjoying thriving and living my life and defining myself for myself, she says. Your calling is what you answer to. This has this is really interesting. Is that you have three water element cards from the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, I'm sorry, and you have one card from Jungle Beauty Goddess, Katara, 
who represents the root chakra, which and her element is earth. So if you are, it says your calling is what you answer to. So if you are looking to sort of, um, how do I say this? You want to create roots or you want to become grounded. You have the power to kind of figure out what it is that you want to do and not for that to be defined by society. Like don't let other people tell you that you can't be a ballerina or you can't start a YouTube channel or you can't, you know, whatever it is that you want to do, your, your calling is what you answer to. You can determine that for yourself. But in order to ground yourself, you're going to have to, you know, maybe you may need to, you know, try to figure out what it, let me say, how can I say this? In order to ground yourself, child, you may need to like stop running, swimming free. Your inner mermaid is like, look, I'm just going to have fun because cyanide represents the pleasure, the, pre the pleasure principle, having fun, doing what we want to do. Now, I'm getting the feeling from this hand is that your live as if the only time you ever have is now. Your mermaid is free as a bird. The past and the present, um, the past and the future does not exist. The present is all there is. I'm getting a, a message from your inner mermaid that you are free to do whatever you want, whenever you feel like it. You really haven't committed to a real path, but you have, of course, the ability to define yourself for yourself, but yeah, your inner mermaid is very free right now. But if we pull it in Katara, which means that if you want to plant seeds and if you want to grow and if you want to establish something solid, I got a feeling that you're going to have to come up, you know, your call is what you answer to. I have a feeling you're going to have to figure out what you want to answer to. You know, like what do you want to do? What do you want to be? Like who are you? Um, where do you see yourself in five years? Whether it's a relationship or a job. But I, I got a feeling that you need to... Yeah, maybe get a little stability and maybe figure out where you're going. Well, I have some other cards that I pull for you and I'm going to read them and then I'm going to also um, listen for a message from the star alien being for you. So we pulled the earth, oh my God, I can't believe it. The earth element card for you from the ancestor deck. And this card says, you know, stay rooted and grounded. Oh my God. So it's almost like, you know, the journey reading guys are saying you're just free, you're living in the moment, but maybe you need to ground yourself. And I'm going to read from the book because I think they may have said it perfectly. So the message is take time to connect deeply with the energy of the earth so that you can feel supported and make decisions based on strength and integrity. So I get the feeling that your inner mer mermaid may want to come out of the water and when I say out of the water I mean like maybe you're just you haven't committed to a career you're just working in you know various jobs maybe you haven't committed to um, a, you know a, a relationship I think you know what I'm picking up is that you haven't really defined yourself yet in order to lay a strong foundation and to build and create a future that you will be proud of 10 years from now that is what I'm picking up so it says, it's important for you to take a grounded approach to your current situation. If you are rushing ahead or making a decision based on your more fearful responses, you will miss out on the growth you deserve. Take some time to calm down and get grounded before proceeding further. Oh, this is interesting. Breathe, relax, and connect with your center. Then consider what to do. It's important to plant seeds that are going to grow into something beautiful rather than turn into a weed you have to deal with. This is so interesting that this author, I'm not sure who's, this is the card deck here, just so in case you're interested in the cards. Well, what's interesting is that you have a card from 
you know, Johnny Beauty God's guitar is saying you you define your calling is what you answer to. So I think it's time for you to decide what you want to answer to. You want it's time for you to come out of the water and plant some seeds. But it seems like your inner mermaid is living is living as if the only time you ever have is now. All oh, the past and the present, future does not exist. So what I'm picking up, if I pull it all together, is that your inner mermaid is just having a good time. And if you want to establish some type of foundation and a future for yourself, you're going to have to come out of the water and plant some seeds. And this card from the um, Angels and Ancestor deck is saying that for you to think about what it is you really want to accomplish before diving in and making a mistake. So I have uh, another card for you. And this is from the Magic Flowers deck. And I'm going to see... The card that you pulled is the daisy. And I'm going to see what the message is for the daisy for you. Okay. She says, Daisy reminds us to come back to the beauty and simplicity of the moment. Relax and visualize her pure white petals and fresh innocent energy. Breathe in simplicity and breathe out any feelings of being stressed or overwhelmed. Remember, in this moment, you are already wealthy because you because you have precisely enough for your soul's ideal unfolding. You are already successful because you are exactly where your soul has chosen to be. You are already happy because beneath any surface stress or seeming unhappiness, there is an underlying perfection that characterizes your true oneness with all that is. Relax. Tune in, tune in to this perfection and let everything else go. Feel the purity and the vitality that simplicity of mind can bring. When we let go of extras from our mind, body, spirit, and environment, our soul's most ideal unfolding cannot help but occur. So these are some ideas that she has. Um, stop trying to control or micromanage the situation, whatever situation you're in, which ties right back into Jungle Beauty Goddess. Um, cyanide's message which is to live if you have forever to enjoy your life pretty much to surprise yourself um, leave the details up to the universe this is oh, John of Beauty Goddess uh, Cyanide you know live as if the only time you would have is now the past and the future like she is really all about pleasure and trusting in the universe um, let go of what you cannot change know that you have enough know that you are enough Remember that everything is perfectly unfolding. Clear the clutter in your home or workplace. Let go of any beliefs or obligations or relationships that are no longer serving you. Stop trying to be everything to everyone. Take a simple approach. Step out of the drama. Remember that in many cases, less really is more. Release the past. Stop worrying about the future. Tell me this reading did not tie in with the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. Letting go of the past. So basically, let go of the past. Um, your inner mermaid is really having the time of her life. This is what I'm picking up from this reading. And if she isn't, you really, like if you're going through something, the cards are saying collectively that you're in a good space. Let the past go. Just kind of enjoy your life. Think about what you really want to do before you plant seeds and what you answer to. I'm going to um, listen for an additional message. Thank you. From the, I, I forget how to pronounce this, is it Q Sarah? Um, Star Alien Being. Is there an additional message for this person? From their inner mermaid. You are always free to do as you wish. You are free to swim the sea or walk the land. It is always up to you. Don't feel obligated to choose. People want you to decide if you want to live in this world or that world. You can live in both worlds. Wow. Living in both worlds will make you happy. The minute you choose, you're going to feel caged in. You are a free spirit. Wow. Wow. Thank you. 
so that is the message I have from the Star Alien Being for you, from your inner mermaid. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Hello darling, if you selected the teal green butterfly for the message from your inner mermaid, this reading is for you. First I'm going to go over the Jungle Beauty Goddess cards with you and then I have some additional message, I have an additional message from you for you from two other decks that I have and I have a message from the uh, star alien being that I'll give at the end. So I'm going to go over the cards and get started with your message from your inner mermaid. I'm very excited. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess, Cyanide, who represents our second chakra, our emotions. She says, do it now. Get started. Follow your dream. Okay, I'm sorry. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess, Me. And her message to you is... If it is not going to matter in a million years, it doesn't matter today. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you is love without expectations. And the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara. And her message to you is if the answer is yes or no, you have not asked the right questions. So what my intuition is telling me about this particular hand from your inner mermaid, child. Your inner mermaid is like, look, you're trying to figure out, should I stay in the land? In the, I'm sorry, if I should I stay in the sea or the waters, the ocean? Or should I come to the land and start a new life? And you're trying to, you, you think it's a yes or no question. When I say come to the land or, you know, should I emerge and live on the surface or should I remain and live in the sea? Or maybe your, your mermaid is already living on land and she's debating as to whether or not she wants to go back into the ocean. But the message is, if the answer is yes or no, you have not asked the right questions. This means that you are looking for perfection. You're, 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 tr you're overthinking it. This is the... The, um, the throat chakra, our ability to discern truth, to think, to find truth, to find, to speak our our authentic voice. So sometimes when we look for perfection, we it, we're stuck because we think life is just a no. Should I go back to school? Well, maybe you, sh maybe the question is not should you go back to school, but maybe you should take one or two classes. Maybe the question is not should you go back to school, but maybe you should go back two years from now or a semester from now. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not yes or no. So whatever your mermaid is saying, the answer is, the question is not whether or not you should live in the ocean or live on the land. You're, you should really kind of just kind of understand that there are benefits to both and maybe you can live you know part of the season on land and another part of the season underwater or maybe you know just know that it's not whatever you're going through right now your inner mermaid is, is trying to tell you that it's not a yes or no decision it's the, oh god then you have the card from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari and it says love without expectations what this means is if you love living on the land like don't say well I'm only going to stay here if I make a million dollars next year I am only going to go back to school if I can get a job making forty thousand. I'm only going to do blah 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 blah. Loving without expectations means that when you're looking to find like or to align with your heart, with your soul's mission, with your goals, with whatever your plans are in life, you really can't decide what's going to happen. Like if you, for example, just making YouTube videos. You may think, well, I'm going to make YouTube videos so I can make money. But you don't know. You may or may not make money. But if you love doing it, you have to do it without expectations. Whatever you love, you have to allow the universe to let things unfold the way they're supposed to unfold. I don't know if that makes sense or not. 
The next card I have for you from the Journey Beauty Goddess is again, it's the message is, if it is not going to matter in a million years, it doesn't matter today. This means that if you are contemplating, well, should I work at Burger King or should I work at McDonald's? Uh, is that going to matter 10 years from now? Or should I live, you know, on the land, you know, for two weeks or three weeks? Or should I stay in the ocean? Should I marry it? Well, I don't know. But the thing is, big picture is, whatever you're contemplating, make sure that it is really coming from the depths of your soul. And it is really an important question because... If it's not going to matter a million years from now, it really isn't going to matter today. But there are things that really matter, like should I have kids? You know, because you have children, and you know that's a commitment. Um, there are some things that we do, like should I? You know, I don't know. There, you, you guys, you know, like should I have this surgery? Should I change this about myself? Should I? You know, like there are decisions we make that really can affect our identity and how we see ourselves. But basically, if it's a small decision, you know, the universe is sent to you, like you really need to let go of the details. Like, you know, like don't get caught up in the small things. And then also, and because you're trying to figure out, you know, to make a perfect decision, should I stay on the land? Should I stay in the ocean? Should I do, you know. Um, Jungle Beauty got a sign on and said, make a decision, child, and do it now. Like she is saying, like, uh, just just make a decision, jump in, jump, either live on the land or live in the ocean. I don't care what you do, but the indecision is killing us. Your inner mermaid is saying, do something. So I have some additional messages from you, and I'm going to read directly from the book because I like to respect the message from the person who created the deck. And this is from my angels and ancestors deck. And the card that you pulled is, let's see, you have the card from the Direction Guardian. And it says, choose your path. Tell me my cards are not in alignment. I'm telling you, I believe in magic, y'all. So I'm going to read a little bit from the book here. It says, um... Connect with your deepest desires, then choose the path that will make your heart and soul sing. <gasps> Do it now. Make a decision. Jump in. Don't worry about if it's, if it's not going to matter years from now. Love without expectations, right? Your path isn't set in stone, and your angels and guides have no expectations for you. There's that word, expectations. Love without expectations. Um, your, uh, let me just, I lost my place, child. Your path is set in stone and your angels and guides have no expectation for you. Nor should you have any for yourself. There are many directions you can take. None of them are wrong as they all hold perfect opportunities to grow and to learn. But life is to be enjoyed and savored. So if you know that there is a decision to be made and particularly if you are feeling indecisive, choose the path you know is going to make you light up and choose with your heart. Boom! What did the Jungle Beauty Goddess to say? What did the Jungle Beauty Goddess to say, y'all? Let me find my card. Love without expectations. Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari sitting right over here. Here she is. Okay? Like, follow your heart, man. You can't figure it out by thinking about it you just have to jump in and try it right then I have one more card for you from my flower magic flower deck uh, magic flowers and I'm going to read a little bit from it for you in the card you selected because I like to keep the integrity of the card y'all and let's see what you have here you have oops this is it impatience so let me see what this says. Okay. Be assured that the realm of spirit is orchestrating everything perfectly down to the smallest detail. Do your best to release the desire to control things or make them other than what they are. The more you release this tendency, the more everything will seem to just miraculously unfold. More and more often you will find yourself in the perfect place at the perfect time doing the perfect thing. Similarly, 
you will receive good news in all forms of health in exactly the times and ways that are most beneficial to you. If you take a moment to consider this mindset, you will see it. You will see it imminently. I mean, um, let me just stop here. No, I'm going to keep on. First of all, there is no sense in attempting to control things that are beyond your ability to control. This is simply a waste of energy and can become a chronic source of anxiety. Secondly, even when there are some factors that you can't control, you are so close to your own life that you can't see the big picture as it's unfolding. It's like you're a pilot and the divine realm is the air traffic controller. If you can't possibly be aware of all the factors at work, relax and trust that the realm of spirit can. Oh my God. Look, this is a message for me, child. Um, like the mountain in the distance on the car image, find stillness and patience and consider the long view. And like the woman on the car, feel that you are safely shielded and protected beneath the magical umbrella of divine timing. Relax, trust, dwell in a state of inner um, patience. All is well. The following ideas and messages may apply to you. Uh, everything is perfectly unfolding. Everything is occurring in perfect and divine timing. Relax and release the need to control. Inward, inwardly or aloud, recite the serenity prayer. Trust the details to divine orchestration. Don't hurry or rush. Take your time and do it right. Disengage from the hustle and bustle. Don't panic about deadlines or other seemingly um, time constraints. Enjoy all the phases of your life. Be here now. Which is really pretty cool. So now I am going to ask the star alien being they have an additional message for you from your inner mermaid. Thank you so much for coming. So Time is an illusion. You have selected this lifetime to experience different aspects of yourself. Let the lessons that yearn to be taught come through. Sometimes the reason we remain stuck is because we are resisting the lessons that we need to learn in this lifetime. You may feel that you want to become a millionaire, but this may not be the lesson for you in this lifetime. You may have to learn how to be patient. You may learn how to take care of others sometimes in life we may have to learn how to watch other people's dreams come true while we struggle with our own sometimes the lessons that we have to learn are lessons about believing in ourselves consistency personal discipline if you enjoy your life and enjoy what you're doing you are doing everything that you're supposed to do when or if other things happen, if you marry, if you become a best-selling author, if you have a successful YouTube channel, those are all factors that are really out of your control and none of your business. The only thing you can control is what you do daily. Focus on finding enjoyment in your life and consistency in doing things that you love and let the universe handle the rest. What a stern message. I always know these messages are coming through because it is definitely not something I want to hear. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. This message was for you. It was not for me. It just felt personal. I really hope this reading helps someone from your inner mermaid. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling, if you selected the purple, blue, navy bluish looking butterfly, this reading is for you. First I'm going to go over the cards and I'm going to give you my collective intuition. I, I have added in some additional messages from 
two other decks that I own and I'm also going to ask the Star Alien B for an additional message for you. But first we're going to go over the Jungle Beauty Goddess cards. The first message I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you is love is an action that speaks clearly, boldly, and unapologetically. And she represents the heart chakra and, and I'm getting the impression that this has to do with our calling, our mission, what it is we're supposed to be doing. Like if you Mother Teresa or Martin Luther King or if you are a person on a mission your actions will speak boldly and clearly in alignment with your soul's mission. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai, who represents our pleasure, um, living in the moment, having fun, being creative. And she says, be unpredictable. So I'm not sure if this means, you know, maybe you need to do something new so that you can still feel inspired. But we're gonna look at the rest of the cards and see what's going on. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's message to you is, is your current behavior investing in or depleting your future DNA? So the message I'm getting so far from your inner mermaid is it seems to me that like she, I don't know, like she has a mission. And I'm not sure if she feels um, like a, I don't know, like she is suffocating, like she wishes that she was back in the water, that she wishes that she was having fun, but maybe she's supposed to be here on planet Earth because there are people that she's supposed to help or inspire. But let me take a look at the next card. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. Again, we're pulling in Earth energy. We're talking about our connection to our ancestors, our roots, our mission, our calling, our purpose. It says, Health is wealth. <clears throat> when I looked at your hand collectively, the message from your inner mermaid, I'm feeling that your inner mermaid is stressed out because she has signed up for a mission on the land and she feels stressed out like i'm feeling that uh, katara represents our roots our ancestors our mission our calling our purpose um our connection like with uh, with a duty that's bigger than us and you have the card from jenna you guys call hari which represents our heart chakra which connects the lower chakras and the upper chakras but it is aligns us with our soul's purpose right and so as i said before the card is saying love is an action that speaks boldly clearly and unapologetically to me this leads me to believe that with the two earth cards with which is um, from jungle beauty goddess katara I feel that your inner mermaid is really like, I am stressed out. I am really not happy being here on the land. I'm ready to get back in the sea. I'm ready to get back in the ocean. I'm, you know, contemplating jumping back in, being unpredictable. But I'm not sure if that is really the best plan. I feel that, I feel like this bigger mission, that there's somebody you're supposed to inspire, motivate, help, support you have a, some type of divine mission on the planet on the earth but i feel that you're you just really just want to use your mermaid you know your gills and your fins and your mermaid tail and you're just ready to blow this blow blow the land blow this joint you know what i'm saying you're ready to get out of here so um anyway that is what i'm picking up from the jungle beauty goddess cards and i also you have cards that were were um, selected from my two other decks that I really think are beautiful um, and this is my Angels and Ancestors Oracle card I like to read directly from the book because it, to me it gives it just gives integrity to the card so I've selected one random card to go along with the Jungle Beauty Goddess deck and the card that 
was selected with your deck that came with the elders is the wise one and it says grow within your current situation oh my god grow within your current situation so basically you pulled in two jungle beauty guys guitar cards which is some strong earth energy which connects us to our roots our ancestors of land you your inner mermaid is talking to you she's stressed out she wants to go back in the ocean she wants to have fun but it just seems like um, you have a card that says grow within your current situation it seems to me that it's something bigger but let me read from the book and see what the wise ones message is for you so oh guys cars are magical the message says knuckle down be reliable and committed be open to wisdom and insight and insight from your elders the wisdom of the wise one is based on something that the younger generation is often lacking commitment and reliability when this card appears you are being guided to continue working on your growth and expansion within your current situation be committed to your task and projects it can be very easy to get bored or overwhelmed but persevere you are being reminded of how it feels to be let down and experience unreliability and that is not who you were born to be so keep working on what you're working on because it's going to be extremely beneficial for you in the long run guys i did not plan this i swear i just i, I shuffled the deck this this gives me chills so the jungle beauty goddesses your inner mermaid is like you have two earth cars and your your inner mermaid is a water being it seems like your be current behavior it seems like you're stressed out on the land you you feel like you should be doing something else you want to be free um, but your attitude about your current situation is depleting your future DNA like you're not going to be able to complete this mission with integrity if you continue to hate where you are. Like I get a feeling that the universe is asking you to be rooted, especially from what this one card. And it says health is wealth. So I think that the universe is asking you to change your disposition, change your attitude about your current situation and look at it um, as a as a mission of love. Love is an action that speaks clearly, boldly, and unapologetically. I think the universe is asking you to not go back into, it's asking your, telling your inner mermaid that it is not time for her to return to the water and be unpredictable. And I, and that's in this picture here, Jenny Beauty Goddess uh, Sinai, she has on her mask and it looks like she just wants to play, you know, and it's, and I think the universe is saying this is what you don't want to do. But I have one more card that I pulled from my flower deck that I think is the magic flowers. Um, I love these. These are the kind of decks that I just really love. By Tess Whit. Is it Whitehurst? I love her books. I'm actually reading her book, You Are Magical. It's such a good book. Oh, she made me laugh so hard the other night. But this, let's go over the cards. Um, the card that I have for you is okay she's beautiful and uh, what does this say? it says apple what is this a gut panthers a gut panthers try not to how I pronounce that and I'm gonna read to you directly from the book and see what the message is for you <clears throat> it says you are a treasured spiritual descendant of an ancient order of magical priests and priestess Ooh. your presence on earth at this time is not an accident and the issue you are asking about directly relates to the spiritual responsibilities and learning opportunities that your soul chose to take on before being born into your present form as such the highest honor and most impeccable conduct are required of you now Child. love boldly your ancestors your roots okay sorry let me finish reading if you relax and consult your inner wellspring of wisdom you would know that you will know what immaculate integrity dictates in this situation 
What does immaculate integrity dictate in this situation? Love boldly, unapologetically, right? Clearly. Do not even briefly entertain any action that is not in alignment with perfect truth. Oh my God. Or the most authentic good of everyone concerned. Let excellence in word, thought, and deed be your guiding star. Oh my God. While this might not always seem easy when considering the short term, when considering the long term, it is the only path worth following as it will reap rewards on all levels and in all directions of time. Mm. So here are some ideas that the universe is asking for you from this card. Do your best. Tell the truth. Do what you believe is right. Consult your inner wellspring of wisdom. Act with honor and courage. Behave with professionalism. Oh my God. Take your time and do it right. Oh my goodness. Don't hesitate or doubt yourself, but take the time you need to thoroughly prepare. This situation has vast karmic ramifications. Act accordingly. Did you hear that? Listen, your inner mermaid wants to go back in the sea. She wants to go back in the ocean. She wants to frolic around and play. But the universe is saying that she has a mission here on the planet um, that she signed up for. And she is responsible for conducting and that she's going to prevail but you have to you have to stick it out yes that's that's your inner mermaid so basically even though your inner mermaid is telling you to be unpredictable and to run around and have a good time and play in the sea your elders um, are saying you are you come from a very royal and prestigious you have a mission on this planet it is very important that you are to be reliable and to follow the Look, guys, I'm just doing a reading. You can do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to consult with the beautiful subterranean star alien being. Is there an additional message for this person? Thank you for coming. Uh, from their inner mermaid. Stop wishing you were someone else and somewhere else. Ground yourself in the moment. The key to the, your current situation is to find pleasures in little things. A cup of coffee, a cool breeze, watching the birds, going for walks. Sometimes the reason humans suffer it's because they're always looking for a big reward, a big payoff. They think something grand is going to happen. And they miss all of the beautiful things that, ha that happens on a daily basis. The moment you began to take notice of all of the simple pleasures in your life, your duty, the weight of your duty would be lifted. You will be an inspiration, and before you know it, you will be able to return to the water. Wow. Thank you. Oh, this was so interesting. I really hope this message from your inner mermaid helps someone. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.